the new Huey Foley Memorial Cup is presented to Emmett Nolan, the Faith Harriers captain, by Ann Foley, with Alan Ahern, group sports editor, People Newspapers, and Coe State Nondog officers Angela McCormick and Bobby Goff looking on Faith Harriers and Rapparades have a proud shared tradition of serving up dramatic contests and underage championship finals, and this one was probably the best of lot. Saturday's Wexford People premier minor decider in O'Kennedy Park, New Ross, was a truly magnificent contest, one of the finest exhibitions of hurling that it has been my pleasure to witness in a long, long time. While I was against the decision to alter the age grade at this level from under 18 to under 17, I won't be complaining for too long if games of this standard become the norm. Both sides, and their mentors, deserve nothing but credit for contributing so richly to an out-and-out -out classic, with the Harriers outscoring the Raps by 1-5-0-1 to -1 from the 54th minute onwards to capture this coveted title for the first time since 2000. It was entirely fitting that the new Huey Foley Memorial Cup was the prize for the winners because that much-loved and missed gentleman from Red Newer would have been enthused by the high quality of hurling served up. Some of the score-taking and individual displays were simply sensational from teenagers in such a pressure cooker atmosphere, and the overall standard augurs well for the future of the game in the county. There was just one negative, and it was quite a serious one, because the all-in row that started deep into added time and took a full five minutes to bring under control was extremely ugly and not in keeping with what had gone before. John O'Laughlin, refereeing his third successive final in this grade, would have needed eyes in the back of his head to collar all of the wrongdoers, especially those who raced on from the sideline and unfortunately got away with their antics. When order was finally restored, he showed straight red cards to Rapparay's trio Floyd Murphy, Sean Breen and Matthew Belf in that order. seconds after restarting the action with a throw-in, he wisely blew for full-time, sparking wild celebrations from the Harriers who will have a number of their All-Ireland winning file non oil team of 2016 available again next year. There was real bite to the action from the off with County Minor Jack Sharkey Kerwan grabbing the first of his eight-pointed frees for the reps before the impressive voice scene Pepper doubled their lead in the third minute. The Harriers gold for the first time less than 60 seconds later when Glenn Murphy Butler got a slight touch on Richard Lawler's long line ball from the left to beat Anthony Larkin from close range. It was the start of a huge contribution from the talented corner forward who went on to add a superb five points from play, not bad going for somebody who has happily recovered from a cruciate injury. The Harriers led by 1-3-0-5 to 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 by the end of the first quarter, with Josh Scheel playing free, plus Murphy Butler adding points while Matthew Balf, Oisin Pepper and Jack Kerwan, free, replied for the wraps. The Enniscorthy club had won the last meeting of the longtime rivals in a final by two points in 2011, and they went on to lead by 0-12-1-7 to 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 at the end of a very entertaining and full-blooded first half. The Harriers had the player of the match in my view an excellent right half forward Jason Gordon whose ball winning capability from his own puck out was immense. He may have only scored one point, but his real contribution was in creating chance after chance for colleagues as a result of his prowess under the dropping ball. Still, Gordon and his colleagues knew they had a lot to do as the break, after five more Dak Kerwan frees, plus efforts from play by Pepper and Evan Murphy, had pushed the reps in front despite replies from Glenn Murphy Butler, to Josh Scheel, free, and Connor Keough. If the opening half was good, the second period was even better, with the tone set when four goals were shared in the first eight minutes. Richard Lawler, now at full forward, won a 50-50 ball on the ground and shook off a defender before edging the Harriers into a 2-7-0-12 lead after 90 seconds. After Jack Kerwan, Free, and Jason Gordon swapped points, Callum Dobbs drilled the rebound to the net for the Raps following a super Josh Walsh save from an Oran Cardi pile driver. 30 seconds later, Anthony Larkin made an equally good stop from Connor Keough at the other end, but the latter was credited with scrambling the ball over the line, with Richard Lawler also close to the scene, 3-8-1-13. to 
Incredibly, the lead changed hands again with yet another goal. Oran Cardi lost his hurl in the left corner but still managed to use his boot to set up Kean Hanley, and it was impossible to take one's gaze off the field for fear of missing out on another big moment. Although Glenn Murphy Butler converted a free, the initiative was firmly with the wraps entering the last quarter after Oisin Pepper flicked a Callum Dobbs delivery to the net in the 44th minute for a 3-13-3-9 lead. The Harriers produced a stunning response, as four points in less than four minutes from Josh Scheel, two frees, plus Murphy Butler and Scheel from play, restored parity once more. Raps netminder Anthony Larkin came up field to split the posts from a free and at 65, with Owen Kavanaugh making a vital hook on Jack Kerwan in between 3-15 3-13. A Connor Keough flick was cleared off the line before Richard Lawler sent a line ball wide, but the puck out that followed had a huge bearing on the outcome. It was caught by the talented Jason Gordon whose delivery was grabbed in turn by Lawler, and his 54th minute goal gave the Harriers a lead they were determined to keep 4-13 3-15. Shield, 65, and Murphy Butler continued their point-scoring exploit, but Oisin Pepper brought his tally to 1-4 to, to leave just two between them, with 90 seconds to go. In the end, three late-pointed frees from Scheel, the last two in added time, finally made sure of the Huey Foley Memorial Cup after a game for the ages. The exceptional standard of hurling will be remembered by all those lucky enough to be present, long after that late flare-up is forgotten. Faith Harriers, Josh Walsh, Sean Byrne, Cillian Boggan, Josh Murphy, Liam Casson, Kyle Scallon, Lee Nolan, Emmett Nolan, Capt, Ben Hines, Jason Gordon, 0-1, Richard Lawler, 2-0, Owen Kavanaugh, Glenn Murphy Butler, 1-6, 0-1 free, Connor Keough, 1-1, Josh Scheel, 0-10, 7 frees, 1-65. Subs, Paul Dini Farrell. Nolan, 41, Josh McMahon for Murphy, 48, also Jack Finnecane, Mark Hennebury, Daniel Brown, Kian Twami, Owen Foley, James Ryan, Harry Keough, Kian Carty, Billy Hillis. Raptors, Anthony Larkin, 0-2, 1 free, 1, 65, Michael Delaney, Marcus McCarthy, Michael McGrath, Matthew Kinnaird, Sean Breen, Capt, Ronan Kervik, Evan Murphy, 0-1, Matthew Balf, 0-1, Floyd Murphy, Jack Corwan, 0-8 freeze, Kean Hanley, 1-0, Oisin Pepper, 1-4, Oron Cardi, Callum Dubs, 1-0. Subs, Aaron Brown, Regan Tracy, Adam Sheridan, Mikey McVeigh, Jack Walsh, Tommy McVeigh. Referee, John O'Loughlin, Monager Boulay Vogue. New Ross Standard.